Alright, so you got a knife, a knife. 35? I'm gonna hold a 30, I think that's fair. They call what I did despicable, they threatened to sue me, they threatened to have me arrested. I was like, do your worst! Guys, we have a great pawn hub in store. Before we get into it, I want to thank our episode sponsor once again, Bong Water Beverage. Bong Water is a THC infused drink designed to hit you fast. This great product's available in Minnesota, Oklahoma, Missouri, Kansas, parts of Texas, parts of Wisconsin. Must be 21 years of age or older to consume in my great state of Minnesota. Visit bongwaterbeveragecompany.com and find out if they're coming to your state yet. If they're not there soon, there's a link in the video description. And with that, let's get into a great video. I don't know if you guys know this or not. I might have told this before. My very first business, I got fired for. I got in so much trouble for it. I almost got sued slash prosecuted. So I worked at Macy's. It was my first job. Uh, I got the job when I was 19 and I worked there for four years. Macy's at the time, probably still, I don't know, I don't work there. They didn't pay a shit. It was like minimum wage. I think it was seven fifty an hour. Plus, if you worked in men's shoes, I worked in women's like trendy clothes for like a week, and I hated it. And I had them transfer me to men's shoes, which was commission. So you got a packet or like a manual like this thick with tiny print is designed so you don't read it explaining how the commission structure works it was so overly complex basically with the commission structure you got minimum wage and again i don't know if this is still true this was true over a decade ago you got minimum wage plus you had to basically sell 80 dollars worth of shoes an hour to get above minimum wage uh because your commission i think was seven and a half percent it was eight and a half if you're full time. Now you had to sell $80 worth of shoes an hour. That's what that broke down to at seven and a half percent. You had to hit a certain dollar amount given your hours every week. If you didn't hit that amount, it carried into the next week and you only got your minimum wage. You did not get your commission. It built up your hours and your commission built up against uh, your sales. And you could get so deep in the hole, you would never be able to get commission. Like it just became impossible and you basically had to go get a new job or you're just getting paid minimum wage. So that was bullshit and that was frustrating. And sometimes like, you know, you sell a pair of Allen & Mins shoes at $300, you make like $21, $22. And that was a lot of money to me back then, but that didn't happen very often. And so one day somebody came, this was in the summer of 2012, somebody came and they returned a pair of winter boots. And I took the return, they bought them online, you could return it in the store. When I scanned it in to put a new price tag on it, they were $6 and they were $100 boots. And I was like, the f And I asked my manager, I was like, was this a mistake? And they explained, no, what happens is it's at the end of its line and it's actually cheaper for us to just blow this out than it is for us to send it back to the manufacturer and deal with all that shit. So we just blow it out and we take the loss and we write it like that's how the company works. I thought, oh, well, what else is this cheap? So, cause I'd noticed there were all these shoes that were tucked away in like this back stock room. And I start scanning through them with the little hand scanner. All these shoes, 50, 60, 70, 80 plus dollar shoes are all three, four, five dollars. So I bought them all and I flipped them and I sold a pair that night. I made $80 like that. You know what I used to have to do to make $80? That was like a whole shift and a half. So over the next four months, five months, this blossomed into a giant eBay business. So I bought out all the shoes that we had. And then I went to all the local Macy's around here at the different locations. I bought all the shoes they had. One day, about three months in, two months in, there was this, uh, and I got to all this because I love Time Suck. We talk about it a lot. They have like ongoing jokes that they do. And there's an ongoing joke about a department store detective. And that was literally what Macy's had. And the lady still works there. We're talking about this because I went there recently, uh, the last couple of days and I bought uh, a couple new shirts. So she catches me three months in. I'm walking out of the store with three, four giant bags full of shoes. And she goes, wait, 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 stop. What are you doing with all these shoes? And I'm like, you know, at the employee exit. And I'm like, you know, whip out the receipt. And she's looking through checking. She goes, what are you doing with all these shoes? And I go, with deals this good, how could I resist? She looked at me up and down. I was like, yeah, bitch, you got nothing to say to that. Cause I knew what I was doing. They were gonna get pissed. Uh, it specifically said in my employee contract that you can't use your store discount to make money. So I switched the operation up to calling other stores all over the country, finding out which shoes they had that were like this, which shoes were like mega discounted. At the height of it, I was doing thousands of dollars a week in sales. I made 40 grand. I had enough money to fund my stupid samurai movie and another project. However, a couple months in, there's this guy named Mr. Pink. He, I, it's what I call him. I forget his actual name. I just called him Mr. Pink. He worked in a, a different department. He always had like hella pills on him. And I walked up and I got a, uh, shall we say, a very powerful inebriating pill. And I popped it. I go out to lunch. I'm f***ing swimming. And there's store security waiting for me. I get back from lunch. And they're like, come with us. And I'm like, I go, oh, f and they bring me downstairs into the bowels of the store. And it's like, honestly, like a comical interrogation room. Like seriously, a single light hanging overhead with a chair. Fucking wanna be cop looking at me like all tough. Have a seat, Mr. Kale. Oh, I'm in trouble now. They call what I did despicable. They threatened to sue me. They threatened to have me arrested. I was like, 
Do your worst! Oh, I think your store's closing soon, because Macy's is basically going under. Ha <laughs> ha! All right, so you got a knife. A knife. Yes, sir. Okay, yep, I've seen this exact knife before. <laughs> yep. Exact style, everything is like Damascus steel. Yep. How much you wanted on it? Ah, uh, 20 bucks. That was what I was gonna offer you. Perfect. Cool. We got a deal. 20 bucks. Sweet. And then you got something else? I don't have anything, but I was curious. Um, so I've gotten into, I have a crap ton of copper scrap. Copper I don't really do anything with. Okay, cool. Uh, Even if I like, I'm getting into smelting them down to bars and stuff. Was curious. Yeah, no, I, we do precious metals, but no, no copper. I guess okay. that is a precious metal, but at least not yet. Okay. All right, really quick here. Uh, it was a, just a fast in and out deal. This is Damascus steel. This is a 60 plus dollar knife. I might sell this on whatnot. I could throw it on eBay and get 50 or 60 and it'd take a month to sell or I sell it tonight on whatnot, I guarantee I probably get 40. The fees are better on whatnot anyway, so I'll probably do that. But I am buying these at the price is right. If he said he wanted anything over 30, I would have said no. But 20, that's a good price for this knife. Ash and knife. Try it He's a creepy old man in a windowless van. Who wants to babysit the con artist can? All right. And we have... Nothing but magic, isn't that right? Yeah. Hey, oh, it's one of these dealios. Yeah, my mom used to put these up around the house for holidays. Yeah, there's a mouse turd on the porch of that one. Kinda looks like uh, the first, uh, first sight of uh, my first murder. Nice little farmhouse with a basement like that. Peaches. You know Tickle Monster Gal? You know Tickle Monster Gal? No, you get along, trust me. Next time you bring in uh, fragile stuff, do warn me, because I don't think I broke any of them, but I did drop that, kind of, I didn't know that it was fragile in there. I'd love to take you to church with me, I'd love to I, that, either I would burst into flames or that building would burst into flames the, the yeah, moment I'll, the two of us make contact. I'll stop. <laughs> Dickens Collectibles, Victorian series, 1996. That's pretty new. Still got the brace tag on her. Walmart, 1396. Ooh. okay. Uh, these are more modern. These do, and actually, I, uh, it's too bad you're not coming to me around Christmas time. Do you just sell those year round? Uh, yes, indeed, you can. But again, these are modern, these are more modern. If these were older from like the 70s and before, they actually do get kind of expensive. I am familiar with these. 30 bucks for the lot. You go 40? I don't want to go 40. 35? I'm going to hold it 30. I think that's fair. Yeah. That works. So he just now. He's walking out. I got, I got this uh, kind of a hazard right here. I just watched him pick up his walker and go jump over it. You saw it. He, just, he literally just jumped over that. I was like, give me that walker. Why don't you give me that? You should, you should offer it. Uh, no, because then he'd take it. And uh, then he really would tap dance out of here. 30 in each of these retails for each of these on Minnesota for about 30. I'll probably make about two and a half full of my money. Um, but these are going to live in my basement. Like, all the other sh he sells me. Yeah.